Hey guys, welcome back to Slope House, where we're going step by step to build a hillside home in Los Angeles. If you're just joining us, my name is Lindsay. I'm an architect here in LA. We're going to go back out on site where we left off pouring our first concrete. Thanks for checking us out. At the end of the last video, we were about to pour our concrete piles, ranging from 9 to 32 feet into bedrock. It took three trucks of concrete to fill our eight foundation piles. This sketch illustrates our foundation system, where deep piles outline the footprint of our house and are connected by thick gray beams embedded into bedrock. We left five feet of rebar exposed at the top of each pile to tie into the gray beams, which after some delays due to historic rain, were trenched by hand up and down the hillside. Trenching the gray beams took a lot of time because we couldn't use heavy pieces of equipment to do the excavation. The side is so tight, it all had to be done by hand. You can see behind me some shovel markings where they had to excavate uh, through bedrock, which is why it's taken us quite some time, but we've made significant progress. It took about six weeks to dig out all the grade beams and tie the rebar cages in place. This is our 30 foot deep pile. You can see here that the concrete pour stops right here because the second pour that we're going to do is going to be the pile cap, which is basically a bell that sits on top of the pile and then connects to the grade beams. So I'm standing directly between our deepest pile at 30 feet and our shallowest pile straight up this way, which is at 10 feet. The elevation change between them is also 10 feet. And you see this gray beam has to step to connect the two. Gray beams essentially connect the dots between the two piles. Check out all these dense rebar cages. Our house isn't going anywhere. After more rain delays, it was poor day again. It took a crew of about six people to stage the time-sensitive task of pouring wet concrete. Since it settles quickly as they fill the grade beams, one member of the crew follows with a vibrating device that submerges into the concrete and breaks up the clumps of aggregate that settle at the bottom. This ensures that the concrete is evenly distributed throughout the wall. We put nine trucks of concrete into the grade beams, which now outline the footprint of our house stepping down the hill. At the top near the street is the carport and music studio. The middle section will sit behind a 10-foot retaining wall and contains the three bedrooms, and the lower section will be our shared living spaces. We're now ready to get out of the ground. In the next video, we'll share how the foundation walls take shape and give you an overview of our house design.